It's been a while. And we have our first student. <laughs> Tubiest of the tubiest, the best YouTube subscribers on the planet. That's you, and I'm 50 plus. So we got a new student, our first Milton student. And today, I'm gonna let him introduce yourself. We're gonna do a little bit of, uh, get a little bit of information from him about the experience he had in the training cl class, the orientation class, rather and uh, what brought him to Milton and helped him make that decision. Stuff like that, that you guys might be able to find some use of. So, introduce yourself, Mr. Ubiest. My name is Perry. Uh, this is my first week of, this is gonna be my first week of driving uh, after a two week orientation with Milton. Uh, started back in the beginning of February and now here we are. <coughs> so, <clears throat> Um, what made you decide on Milton? Or did you even think of anybody, uh, any other company other than Milton first? I actually did. I thought of a few different companies. Uh, a Maverick, um, of course. Uh, McElroy uh, out of Texas was another one because they were fairly close by. Um, Milton was actually kind of the one that I went with. It's, it's your fault, actually. It's completely your fault. <laughs> um, I, I'll take all the credit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, uh, um, after having done a, done a bunch of research, which, you know, it, uh, I watched a lot of videos. I did a lot of, of my own, uh, background work beforehand. I decided that Melton was a good first company because of a combination of the, the good starting pay, the good training, um, the great facilities and, and the, the really, really nice equipment. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, Melton is very, uh, competitive in, in, in those areas. I, I I actually considered Maverick as well, and the reason I chose uh, the the two things, I mean that the two companies were eye catching to me because of their equipment. That's they they they're <laughs> we're not going to use this particular truck as the example, but their their equipment was all every i never saw a dirty melton truck i never saw a dirty maverick truck and, and for that I, i've never saw a dirty tmc truck and and i never saw raggedy melton trucks i never saw a raggedy uh uh maverick you know or tmc truck they, their equipment between those three companies are, are just they just seem to be top notch you know and um I actually kind of got lucky myself that uh, uh, at the time Maverick wasn't hiring hiring in my area, and when Melton called, I jumped all over. And I'm I'm damn glad I did. I bet you are too. Huh? You know, um, it was it was. I think I applied, and they called me back within three or four days. Yeah, yeah. They the uh, recruiting is, is 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 on it. You know, and and. They're honest with you, so they're not going to fill you full of crap. Uh, and as far I, everything that the recruiter told me actually was completely true. Spot like, on, yeah. basically, I knew exactly what I was getting into before I actually stayed and started. Yeah, you know, that their stuff is uh, is in writing, you know, in pamphlets and stuff like that. That I, I even have some of those pamphlets I keep them in my truck. But <clears throat> so you decided to join Melton, and then how long? after you applied and they got back with you did it take you to actually get to the class the orientation it was a lot faster than i thought it was actually uh so i had graduated from a cdl from my cdl school uh black wolf trucking uh out of uh Bryan, texas on the 13th 13th or 14th or no 12th i think was that friday i came back uh came home that week applied and i believe by the 17th or 18th mm -hmm. they called me um but like i was home for a couple of days i threw out a couple applications and uh melton was i think the third one that i applied for and the first one to call me back 
Um, they could have had me out as soon as the weekend of the 29th, mm -hmm. or the week of the 29th, uh, but I actually chose to delay it a couple of weeks. So between application and actually going to orientation, it was maybe three weeks, four mm -hmm. weeks, because I got there on the, I started on the 8th. Yeah. So how many students uh, showed up to, I say students, and I'm saying that because not everybody that shows up to orientation uh, comes with no experience because you can go, like he did, go through CDL school, get your CDL, no actual driving experience live, you know, outside of a school and still get hired on. It's exactly what I did. And then you get with somebody, well, you know, nobody's like me, of course, but you're going to get a nice trainer, okay? And then they're going to spend some time with, I know, you can pat, pat me on the back a little bit later, I, I know, but, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, you're going to get with somebody who's going to train you. So you can come fresh out of, of school, okay? And, uh, and so they're all in that class together, the, the people who uh, have experience and don't. Okay, some do, some don't. So, how many people were in your class? I think we started, uh, I don't remember exactly. I think we were somewhere around 30 to 35 people when all was said and done. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's how much we started with, give or take. Okay, so how, how many you believe was actually completed the last day of orientation? 20. I think 29 was the number. So you dropped about six or seven? I think like eight. I think like eight, students, I think like eight you know. dropped. Yeah, and, and you know, th that happens for multiple reasons. And uh, and so just be ready when you come, okay? Uh, you know, make sure make sure when they take your hair that they ain't going to find that you, you know, when doing schmack and, 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 and heroin and, and, and PCP and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't think we actually lost anybody due to, due to drug tests. That's actually... I know, but the other stuff ain't funny, you know? <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't be on drugs when you're driving trucks uh, yeah, anyway. Yeah, right? yeah, well, you know, you know, <laughs> you'd be surprised. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> but, you know, you know, come ready. Come ready. And, uh, and, and, and they're going to make everything else go fairly smooth. So how was the, uh, I don't know why um, people are this way, but it, it's always what what kind of hotel room they put you in? Did they put you in the dump, and then, so you know what was the rooms like they put you in? Oh, rooms were pretty well. The first room was pretty straightforward. During orientation, um, they'll probably put you in the uh, Sure's Day by Best Western. Um, it's maybe eight or nine miles, maybe fifteen minutes from the terminal, give or it, take. It was a decent hotel room. It's it's nothing fancy it's nothing terrible i didn't have any complaints mm -hmm. um it was it yeah. was clean it was well kept it was spacious yeah. and, and then I'll, once i uh once we completed orientation mm -hmm. um of the two-week orientation they move you over to the katusa which mm -hmm. is a uh, a different inn much closer to the terminal All right um because you're going to be doing a lot of load securement going back and forth after the um after your orientation is done mm -hmm. just practicing learning your um learning what melton needs you know and, and you're just doing that basically while you're waiting for your trainer exactly Okay. Um, I only had to wait. I think I got you on. I think you were assigned to me that that Sunday after mm -hmm. after that week. Yeah. So you so you was there what about five days? About or five days. Yeah. yeah. Um, Monday was the last day. Uh, we were delayed because of all that weather. Right. Um, all right. You know. And and so yours your particular uh, situation may have been may not be ideal to to have a litmus test on it because uh, a lot of. Uh, trainers were still stuck out on the road while you were finishing and they weren't able to get back to the terminal with their student or didn't get the that five days they may have been parked you know yeah and, and um, not get that 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 extra week with their training the the people who actually do the orientation um or not who do the orientation but do the uh the trainer um coordinator uh, yeah the, the the train the trainer coordinators it's uh -huh. thank you the training coordinators uh, are do, do, were doing their best to, to make up for that. That was the only reason. Um, our, our first students managed to get out within just, I think the first ones went out the, that next Tuesday, mm -hmm. like right after that, that last day of class. Yeah. And it was just a matter of getting people in after catching up with all that, we with all that weather. New batch of trainers, uh, and then uh, everybody got out. Uh, all the people who were delayed, who'd been waiting uh, prior because of the weather and, and us, 
I think they got everybody out that same week. Cool. When you were in the hotel, who was in a room with you? <coughs> Nobody. So you had a room. So you have a room by yourself. Yeah, at the Catusa, yeah. I got a tw I, at the Catusa, I got a double or a, a double twin bunk. bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I was the only one in there. Yeah, you know, and you know, it, it, I, it's getting dark in here, so I know, I know. Um, <clears throat> we, I waited until the last minute to do this. Yes, I did. <clears throat> but they do. They put you in a hotel room by yourself. So you don't have to share a room, and uh, and that's that's uncommon with trucking companies. Uh, they don't. <laughs> you got a roommate, you know, but <clears throat> they did, and, and that's and that's a good thing. So, uh, the hotels had, and I had to stay in the hotel for a couple of days while they were repairing my truck. So I was at the Catusa. You were like five rooms over from me. Yeah, yeah. You were on the second. That, you I know, on the second floor, like five rooms over. Yeah, I, I was at uh, one eleven, and whoever was in one ten, a dude. Dude, I, I promise you that person, it sounded like they was dragging a chair across the wall all night long, man. I don't know, understand. Oh my God, I was so glad that person got their trainer before I got assigned. Because there would be no way I could be in the truck with that person snoring like that. Oh man, it woke me up from my wall. This dude was snoring through the wall. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't hear a thing Holy through my wall. Holy cow. You know, it, 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 and this is a nice hotel. This is not, I mean, dude was working hard on snoring. He got a goddamn A+. Plus. See me? The only thing uh, that woke me up was uh, that one early morning when the, the guy who drove that big cat Kenworth that was sitting oh, yeah, it started Yeah, that that truck was. It's a oh, it, there's a guy that's parked in the parking lot, and he had this old uh, Peter Bill it was I don't know, but he had a caterpillar in that. Somebody look at holes and exhaust They're something. Like I don't know. Pipes. Oh my god, that thing was just crazy loud and and ridiculous. But anyways, that's not what you have for. Um, so, <clears throat> how was the? Uh, the training. How how long, how long was the orientation? Two weeks. Yeah. Uh, two weeks, almost to the day, and uh, we uh, they did a really good job of, of sticking to the schedule. We had to uh, we we worked a little harder than than uh, usual to catch back up, but there were a couple of days where straight up we were. Um, I believe at least one day we were canceled outright due to weather. Yeah. And then every other day, um, despite the fact we were running behind. Because we would have to wait each day for the for the roads to get salted and and, uh, and mm -hmm. sanded and brined, but by the time we were done, they were done. You know, we'd be going in, uh, we'd be going into class, and and we managed to get all of the things we needed to get done done. The the training staff did a fantastic job catching yeah. us back up and, and condensing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, and and not to let this go much longer. Uh, and and I also don't want this to come across as a. Milton sales pitch, you know. I, I want, I want, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly. If that is there any bad that you would think, if you had to, if you had to, you know, look really, 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 really hard to find something. Do you think you could find something that you would might wish that they'd done different? I mean, the the problem is is uh, being able to do that or do being able to dig for something like that. Yeah. Everything I can think of that was negative with yeah. this experience so far for yeah. somebody who's brand new into trucking right. has been a result of of the weather. Has yeah. been a result of of things outside Melton's occurrence. Right. The only thing yeah. I could think of do I could think of that might be they could that maybe they could fix was getting um, uh, bigger transportation. Uh, we had a we had one of those little Chevy vans uh, uh -huh. for for a while, and those were pretty cramped. But they already said that they're looking into getting shuttles because their classes are getting bigger. Correct. <laughs> I was just about to say that. You know, <clears throat> they they the uh, the student ratio is is going straight up from for 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 Melton. I know the class and, after us has like fifty people. In yes, it. <laughs> yes, and the, the classes are growing. <laughs> And and it's because they, they they got a good thing and you guys I know I'm not I got, I'm trying to get some light here okay uh, I, I you know it's, I don't want you to think oh God he drank the Kool Aid you know <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you what the truth is and I and I always let you know what my experiences is and uh, it 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 is a fact man they, they do a damn good job it's an excellent company I don't know if that's gonna help I'm trying that's to get fine. some lighting in. Here. Uh, 
<laughs> that didn't help. Anyways, um, if you guys want to want to come over, uh, I have a link down below. Click that link, and it's not difficult. You know, a lot of companies. Um, you when when you uh, somebody say, hey, click the link down below, and then it actually takes you to an application type of situation where you have to fill out a truckload of information before somebody contacts you, and that's not the way it works with Milton. The, all you're going to put in there is your name and your contact information, okay? And uh, and somebody is going to call you, and they're going to talk to you, and they're going to do like a uh, a uh, like a pre-interview type of thing, short deal. They ask a few questions, kind of makes you kind of pre-qualify you, you know. When the last time you smoked a gunji? Well, you know, I really hadn't quit just yet. Well, that's not a good interview. You're probably going to get exed out pretty quick, okay? You know, but if the interview goes well, then you, you'll do the little application process, and then uh, and then you'll be on your way. And uh, uh, the, the students ride with the mentors or trainers, uh, three weeks so that means every three weeks uh, I'll be looking for another student and I would love for that new student to be you you know you got a good hurdle to jump this guy's doing pretty doggone good he really is I, I got the he's making it easy for me so I'm glad about <laughs> this that this one's making it easy for me yeah well you know I'm damn near perfect so it's kind of hard for you to not do good with me you're making it alright though Come on, man. Let's welcome. I'm double jointed. I got two elbows so I can pat myself on the back. I'm just having fun. Anyways, any any last words before we uh, let them go? We, we I didn't have them for 17 minutes. If you're looking for a if you're looking for a uh, good company to go with, you can't go wrong with Macro or not. Bleh, sorry, Melton. There you go. Um, you can't go wrong with Melton. <laughs> you said the camera. I, I did. It I just, did. I did. It one of those trucks just drove by. You're just looking at it. That's exactly why. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can't go wrong you with can't, Melton. You can't go wrong with Melton. Yeah. Um, good company. Um, good company to, uh, to start with. Good company to stay with. Yeah. I think. The personnel is is, is awesome. You guys are going to... You, you won't find somebody here that's going to rub you wrong. Okay? So... Use the link down below. Tell them you want 50 plus as your trainer. And, you know, maybe. Here we go. <laughs> hey, deliver undistracted. <laughs>